So you may have seen that little sound library button in DaVinci Resolve, right? Kinda looks like this right here. Did you know you can get a free sound library from Blackmagic Design? It's got about 500 sound effects in it that you can use in any of your videos for free. I'm gonna show you how you can grab that, but you can also create your own custom sound libraries. And that's what we're talking about today. I'm gonna show you how to set up your own custom sound library and include either sound effects or music or both that you may have on your hard drive. So this way you've got fast and easy access to all that stuff. You can try it out using the audition tool in Fairlight if you want, or you can just look at it in the sound library in multiple different tabs here and grab what you want, dump it into your timeline and be off and running, making some awesome videos. Today's video is sponsored by Artlist and I'm gonna be using all the songs that I've gotten from Artlist to create a sound library with them. So I wanna be able to use them and access them quick and the sound library is gonna help me do that. So let's jump into Resolve and we're gonna talk about how to create your own custom sound library and then I'll show you how to get those freebies from Blackmagic Design. Let's check it out, let's go. As we jump into DaVinci Resolve here, the first thing that I recommend that you do is make sure all of your sound effects or music or whatever it is you wanna put into this new sound library have it all in one spot. You would need to have a top level folder that Resolve can point to that you can say, hey, look here, here's everything I wanna include in this sound library. So take a look at what I got. I have one here called Artlist and inside there is all of my music from Artlist. Now you can have extra folders in there. You can see I have a folder right here, Firefighter Video. Um, you can have additional folders in there and Resolve is gonna look through those folders, grab the music or sound effects or audio files and bring them into your sound library. So you can organize however you want, just have some top level folder that you can select and all that will be imported into our sound library in a second here. Looking in Resolve, you can find your sound library. Love this face, how about it? Come on, come on. <laughs> you can find your sound library in a few different spots. So currently we're in the edit tab and you've got the sound library right up here. And you can also find it in the Fairlight tab. We have the sound library right up here. Now, if you wanted to use that audition tool that I've already talked about, you would need to use the sound library here in the Fairlight page. But since most of you guys are probably more familiar with the edit page, let's jump back into the edit page and we're gonna create these new sound libraries right here. So I'm gonna come up to the top, open the sound library. And in here, this is what your sound library looks like if you haven't seen it before. We've got the ability to search through our sound library and we can filter it by name or description. We have this little icon right here, which is gonna be handy. You wanna know that you gotta click this to open it up and see your different sound libraries. So if I click this little drop down, you can see I already have the Fairlight Sound Library. We have the local database, and I have a Blackmagic Design sound effects library, and I have my own sound effects library. So we're gonna be adding in an Artlist music library to this so that I can search through it and quickly and easily drag and drop things from the sound library into my timeline. So how do we go about creating this brand new sound library? So the way sound libraries work is that you can have one in each project library or project database. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about here, take a look in Resolve. If we click on the home icon, it's gonna bring up our project manager. And over here we have project libraries. They used to be called databases. Sometimes I still call it a database. But here, Project Libraries is what they're calling it now. And if you don't see that, this little icon right here next to the word Projects, click on that and it's going to open it up and you'll be able to see the different libraries that you have here. So you can see I have a Blackmagic Training Sound Effects Library. I got my local database and the Sound Effects one. Now you don't see the Blackmagic Design Fairlight Sound Library, the Sound Effects Library that's free from Blackmagic Design because it gets installed on its own and it just appears in your sound libraries. But when you want to create one yourself, with your own sound effects, your own music, this is how you're gonna to have to do it. So we need to create a new project library. So to do that, I'm gonna come down, add project library. It's gonna bring up this window right here. So you need to give it a name. I'm gonna call mine Artlist Music. And then we're gonna browse and pick a location to save this database. Now, quick note about this, for a sound effects or a music or an audio sound library like this, I think it's perfectly okay to put it on an external drive where you've got a lot of space. I use an external SSD, which works out great for this kind of stuff. And I never see a lag or any kind of slowdown doing it this way. However, with your project libraries, your local database here, which for me, if you can see in the background, here's where all of my projects live, that I recommend keeping on your internal hard drive because that's gonna give you the best performance in DaVinci Resolve if the project library with all of your projects in it lives on your internal hard drive. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. But for me, I'm gonna hit browse and I'm gonna go pop this guy in my external hard drive in my Artlist Music folder 
just so I kind of keep everything together. So I navigated to that top level folder, like I showed you before, I have it called art list. And in there I've got all kinds of uh, music as well as other folders and things. And once you select that top level folder, you can go ahead and just click open. Once you've selected your file location, you'll see it here. Just go ahead and click create. Now, once you hit create, it's automatically going to create that database and put an untitled blank project in there. Kind of like you see on the screen right now, we have untitled project. Now we're not going to put any projects in here, although you could, but generally we're not going to put any projects in here. This is just going to be a project library for all of our music in this case, or maybe sound effects in your case. So you can see down in Resolve here, I already have that project open, the untitled project, because it does it automatically. So I'm going to hit close on the project manager here. And now I'm inside the new project library that we created. So we are still in the edit tab. We still have our sound library open here. And if we look in here and we come to this little drop down right here, we now see our new project library we created called Artlist Music. And if you don't see your little drop down menu here, again, make sure you click on this little icon here. That's going to allow you to click on this drop down below it and see any of the sound libraries that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and select the new library called Artlist Music that we just created. So I did add my Artlist Music project library into my Artlist Music folder just to keep everything kind of organized. But now we need to go ahead and actually add the music into the library because it doesn't do it automatically. We just told it where to save the new project library that we created. So the new sound library, we need to add things to it. So right now you can see no library connected and it says add library. Now, if you have not downloaded the Blackmagic Design sound effects library, the freebie that they give you, here you're gonna see something that looks a little different. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna say download Black, uh, DaVinci Resolve's free sound library. It's gonna give you a little link to click on and you can go ahead and download that and then run the installer that comes with it. I'm sure it's similar on PC. I have obviously did it on a Mac since I work on a Mac, but uh, you're gonna run that installer. It's gonna install it into DaVinci Resolve and then you'll be able to see the sound library in Resolve after you run that installer and you should be good to go. It should do all the work for you. But in this case, since we're creating our own sound library, we need to add in the things that we want to put in there, right? We need to tell Resolve what, what, what do we want to put in there. So you can click add library right here. If for some reason you don't see it there, you can also come up to here, the three little dots and click add library right there. So you can, either spot does the same thing, hit add library. So now once you hit add library, we want to go to the top level folder of all of our music, right? So kind of how I talked about having that top level folder to point Resolve to. Right here, I have art list. That's going to work out perfect for us. And inside there, I have all of my music as well as other folders. And Resolve is going to look through, find all those things that are audio files that are music. And it's going to pull it down and put it into this new sound library. So I'm going to go ahead and just click open. And once everything is scanned and added into the library, you get this message. It tells you how many clips got added in, gives you the file path. You can go ahead and just hit OK. So now we're still in our Artless Music Sound Library here, but you notice we don't see anything down here. Where's all my music? How do I view it? Like, how can I sort through and grab what I want out of the sound library? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that, but first I want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Artlist. All the music you've heard in this video has been from Artlist. I've been using Artlist for a long, long time. They have a ton of awesome, high-quality music. It's easy to search through. It's easy to find the things that I'm looking for, the type of music and the vibe that I want for a particular video. You don't have to worry about any videos getting flagged, so you'll be good to go when it comes to any music that you want to use. And not only does it include YouTube, you can do it for TikTok, commercial work, Instagram, Vimeo, Facebook, broadcast. Cast TV, you name it, wherever you want to put the music, you're covered. If you have an Artlist account, you'll be good to go. You won't get flagged for copyright issues. One of the sections I really like on the Artlist website is the spotlight section. This kind of highlights some great songs and collections by creators that you might know. For example, check it out. Right here is Peter McKinnon. He's got his own little collection there. But tons of different kinds of collections, maybe club music, summer music, winter music, epic cinematic music. Maybe you want something that's more low key and kind of chill coffee shop type of music. Whatever it is, you can find good collections here on the spotlight page that helps guide you in finding the music that you're looking for that fits with your video. So if you guys are looking for a royalty free music service, I would highly recommend checking out Artlist. 
I've been using Artlist for a long time. So if you want to try it out, hit up that link in the description below. You're going to get two months for free. Try it out. See what you think. A big thank you to Artlist for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video and providing the two months free for you guys. All right, let's jump back into Resolve and finish talking about how we deal with our sound libraries here and how we can see everything that's in them because you want to be able to see it, right? Let's check it out. So like we talked about, we look in the sound library, nothing's there. How do I see everything? So if we come up to the search bar and we hit in star, 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 which is the icon above the number eight on the keyboard, pretty sure that's called star. That's what I'm calling it. It's above the number eight on your keyboard. You can see now we see everything in my sound library here. There's 245 results. I can scroll through, grab whatever I want. I can drop it into my timeline if I want to do that. And what I really like about using the sound library versus using something like power bins is that I can get the name of the song. I can see how long it is. I can see what the waveform looks like because a lot of times I know if I'm looking for something that's really pumped up, I might look for a waveform that's a little bit bigger like this right here, right? If I want something that's a little bit quieter and low key, I might look for a smaller waveform, something kind of like this right here. So being able to see the waveform as I'm just scrolling through really quick makes a big difference for me anyway in being able to just kind of quickly decide, hey, do I like this? Do I like that? What am I thinking? Should I try it? Should I not? It, it just kind of speeds up the process for me a little bit. Now, let me just show you that free sound library from Blackmagic Design real quick. If I come up to the top, I'm just going to go ahead and clear out my stars there. We have Artlist Music right here as our uh, database that we're looking in. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to Fairlight Sound Library. Click on that. And now same thing, you notice, hey, where is everything? I don't see nothing. Come on, man. I think by default, you should really just automatically see everything. I don't know why they don't do that. Hey, Black Magic, how about that? Can we just see everything by default? Maybe? That'd be pretty sweet. But anyway, if you come up to the top, if I hit star, 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 everything is going to appear for me. You see, I've got 515 results. And if I scroll through, this is all the sound effects that come for free, for free from Blackmagic Design. And now the really cool part is that you can use that audition feature if it's something that you're looking to do to try out things in your timeline without having to put it in there, try it, take it out. Put a new one in, try it. Nope, take that one out. You don't have to do that. Check out this video I'm gonna link to up here about the audition feature. Check it out because that is a handy tool that really makes having a sound library worth having. So now that you created your sound library, we can see the Fairlight Sound Library. You're thinking, well, we're in a different database though. All my projects aren't here. How do I use this new sound library in my original database? Pretty easy, check it out. So we're gonna just go back to our original database by clicking on the home icon to bring up our project manager. And now over here under local, we can see the different project libraries or databases that we have set up. And we wanna go back to, in my case, the local database right here. This is where all my projects are. Yours might be different, but you pick where all your projects are. And now I'm just gonna open up one of my projects. Could be any project, you pick it and open it up. And now inside this project, I am in Fairlight. You can do it in the edit tab or Fairlight. Let's jump into the edit tab since that's what most people are familiar with and open up my sound library right at the top of the screen here. And now we see nothing. So where's all our stuff, right? So remember this little icon right here, we wanna open that up. And if we click the drop down here, you can see we have our Artlist Music Sound Library. It automatically appears for us inside of the Sound Library tab here. So if I pick it, and then I just put in my three stars here, now everything appears. So remember, you can use any sound library in any project library or project database that you want. They're gonna be visible in every single database that you have. So you can use those music tracks or sound effects tracks anywhere that you want in any project without any problems, it's just drag and drop. Now you can only have one sound library per database, which is why I have one database for sound effects, one database for the music that we just created, because I wanna keep those things separate. I don't want them all combined together because I think it's just too much to search through then, right? I want sound effects, I want music, but you have to have two separate databases or project libraries in order to be able to do that. So keep that in mind. Now, another question you might have is, what if I add music to my folders, does it automatically appear in my sound library that I created? And the short answer is no, it doesn't automatically appear. Hopefully that's something that they can do in the future here and uh, just have things automatically update for us. But we can't do that yet, but you can add in anything new. Check it out, here's how we do it. So I'm gonna jump back into the sound library that we created right here, the Artlist Music one. And I've added some new files in there, but they're not coming up, right? We have 245 uh, results in here. 
but I added a couple more in. How do I add them into this library? So what you want to do is, again, make sure you have your library up and you want to come to the three dots up here and we actually want to say add library again. And this is important. This is why I'm telling you that you should put everything or have everything underneath the top level folder because when you add things, you can do it like this. If we hit add library, it brings up our window here. I'm going to select art list, which is that top level folder, right? Where I put everything else underneath that art list folder. That's all I'm going to do is select that top level one. Now it's going to search through and find only the new things and bring them in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit open and you can see it pops this up. Would you like to rescan the path and add new files to the sound library? And I'm going to say, yes, let's scan that path and see if anything's new. So I did and you see sound library scan successful and it found three new clips that it wants to add into my sound library. So perfect. That's exactly what I put in there. Three new clips. I'm going to go ahead and click. Okay. So boom, there we go. We added in three new music clips. I might've said sound effects before I meant music because I did do the same thing with my sound effects as well. But now I've added in those three songs into my music library here. And you can see right here. Now we have 248 results in our whole library that we can choose from. So that's how you can add in new things. And that's why it's important to, like I said, keep some, everything underneath the top level folder. Cause anything you add in there, resolve can rescan it, add it in, and then boom, you'll have everything inside your sound library and you'll be good to go. Sound libraries here in DaVinci Resolve can be a handy tool to use for your audio, especially when you can add in all of your own sound effects, search them, find whatever you need, really handy and awesome. And don't forget to go check out those freebies. Grab the freebies from Blackmagic Design, get it installed in the free version or studio. It's gonna work just fine there for you in either version. If you wanna know how to use that audition feature, you might wanna check out this video over here. And again, a big thank you to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. Guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.